Hello and welcome to a new video where I'll be showing you how to create a very very simple YouTube thumbnail just like this. Okay, and um, I'll be doing it on the graphics editing software GIMP, which is free, uh, free to download, and you can find it on the website. Link will be in the description below. To start off with, you want after you have downloaded GIMP, you want to press c Control N, and you'll be met by um, you'll be met by this. Yeah, and what you want to do, you want to type in, you want to make sure that's in pixels. You want to type in 1280 by 720 because that's um, YouTube's uh, guidelines for thumbnail. You want to click on advanced options, and then where it says fill with, you want to click on transparency. And then press OK, and you should be met with this. So now this is the thumbnail without anything done to it okay so now we first need to find an image so I'm gonna go ahead to Google and I'm gonna search for a guy thumbs up and when choosing an image you want to make sure uh, you want to click on tools and then size large because you want to make sure that it does fit into the, to the thumbnail so you're going to find an image that's perfect so um, yeah this one looks good this one looks okay so we use this one right click and save it I'm going to save it to our desktop, our desktop as confident young man so we'll go back to GIMP and we'll file open as layers. We're going to find the confident young man. Uh, desktop. And confident young man, so you can see it's pretty big. So we'll click on the resize tool, which is just there, or the scale tool. We'll just make it bit smaller so it fits on the page like so okay and then we'll click on scale now at the moment we have the grey background but we don't want that so what we'll do to remove that we'll click on the paths tool we're gonna zoom in by pressing control and then the mouse wheel and scroll up and it will, it will take long but I'll skip this all we're gonna do <laughs> You kind of want to left click on the point and just yeah, it's just it'll take long. I'll skip this and yeah, I'll I'll rejoin you when I have finished it. One eternity later. So once you've finally finished, what you have to do is you have to join them, the two together by get get the two points close together. Then what you're gonna do you're gonna press Control and then left click on the first point that you used. You're gonna press Enter, and then you're gonna go over here and click on Select and then Invert and then press Delete. So there you go background has been removed so then you can click select none then you can click on the move tool to get rid of all those nodes so we're gonna we're gonna move our guy to the right we're gonna create a border around him so to do that we're gonna right click on where it's on the layer 
then you're going to click alpha to selection it should end up like that then click on uh, select then border I'm gonna you should set it to around four pixels you can see that kind of grows around him then you can choose a color of your choice I'm gonna go for white like so and you just choose any color that you want by left clicking on the color and then click on the fill tool the bucket fill tool and you're gonna zoom in and left click on the, the middle areas and there you go this border is now white so now that's done we can let's fill let's create a background color so I'm gonna put mine as pink and I'm gonna left click on the background lay over there then we're gonna click on fill now we're gonna also now because this just pink just looks a bit boring I'm gonna create a gradient so we're gonna click on the gradient tool which is right next to the bucket fill tool I'm gonna left click right at the top here and we're gonna drag down we should get a nice gradient a kind of fade from a dark pink to a light peachy color now what we're gonna do we're gonna left click on over here and we're gonna right click and I'm gonna press merge down which merge the two layers so now they're as one and what we're gonna do we're gonna now we're gonna create text so click on the text tool then left click drag I'm gonna because this is uh, how to create a thumbnail on GIMP I'm gonna type in how to create I'll do that first then we'll decrease that font size to maybe 170 is that enough change the color by pressing ctrl a and then click on the color here then press white there we go I'm gonna click on the move tool Okay, now we're going to. Okay, now what we're going to do, we're going to create a shadow that will hopefully make the text stand out. We'll go to filters, then you go to light and shadow. You go to drop shadow and click on that. So you'll be met by this. Now, what you want to do, you want to set X and Y to 17, 17.628. So that should set both of them to that, and then you want to set the blur rate should be 10 and then you want to set the opacity to 1.054 and then click on OK so there you go we can see now you've got a nice bold uh, shadow on the text then we go to a thumbnail do the same thing for that for on GIMP uh, merge down and a thumbnail merge down so now it's all one layer and now finally got one more thing to add and that's the GIMP logo so we're going to gonna go to Google GIMP logo and we're going to look for one that's trying we can find uh, this one here seems good enough and then save it so that fits in perfectly just a bit smaller just a bit yeah and that should be okay so that's it guys, that's a GIMP uh, a GIMP thumbnail for your YouTube channels. Very simple, very easy. Um, yeah, so that's all. So don't forget to subscribe and hit that likes button. Um, I should be getting the, career, the second career mode out as soon as possible. I'll see when I can. But anyway, until then, stay tuned and I'll see you guys next time.